of Mellow. May 24th. Last time we talked about this the other night, said LeBron is better than him. You know, it's hard splitting who the number one guy role is going to be because at one time each have been the number one guy, but it's interesting that Wade, who led him in scoring in game two, leads him tonight and has been the offensive thrust in a very defensive-minded game. Here's Anthony inside, meeting both Battier and Bosch in a foul. And they had to review a three by Dwayne Wade in our last segment. And as they took a look at it, they ruled it was indeed a three. You can see it for your own eyes as Batty A just picked up his first personal foul. So it's not like he deferred. I think now they just feel we're going with LeBron. And he is maybe the thrust of the team, but Wade certainly is maybe the heart and soul of the team. He's been there the longest, and he's loved by that Miami crowd. Well, you talked about it was a rocky start last year between those two superstars, and I think this year, because of Dwayne Wade basically giving up the, re the reins to LeBron James, I think it's made the transition of why when it comes to closing time, there's a hierarchy, and I still believe it that Dwayne Wade has a lot left in the tank because he's the, the more of a natural born scorer than LeBron James, especially down the stretch. LeBron on the bench with four fouls right now. Since he was assessed that fourth, Miami has outscored the New York Knicks nine to six. Wade and Miller, shot clock at six. Wade from behind, Smith got him and caught the foul. J.R. Smith picks up number two for New York. You know, got shot clock running down right here. Can't give up a little ticky tack fouls right there on the arm. J.R. Smith on Dwayne Wade. Approaching three to play here on the third. Chalmers and Bibby. Battier to Miller. Miller is picked up by Anthony. Shot clock at one. Battier hoisting one up from way outside. It did not hit the rim. It is a shot clock violation on Spolster's Heat. Miller, Battier, huge in game two, especially from beyond the arc. Tonight, 0 of 8 combined. Shane Battier and Mike Miller. We have seen some lengthy field goal droughts by both teams in this game. In the first half, Miami had a drought of over 10 minutes. Over four and a half minutes, and right now the New York Knicks have not hit from the field in over six minutes of play. Well, where's Carmelo Anthony? He hasn't shot the ball well, but the defense has been smothering him. He hasn't shot it well. He's 4 of 16. He's really staggering. 25%. Shot clock here at four. Smith, Wade got a hand on it. Shot clock at 1.6. He's saying I can play a little D2. <laughs> And everyone needs to recognize 1.6 on the shot clock here. Another deflection. And they keep track of that stuff. And they've mm -hmm. got a number that they try to shoot for. And Wade just had two quick ones right there. And four tenths of a second separating both. Smith. Chandler. Nice play. Good shot. One go. Rebound by Bosch. Mike Miller got hit in the face, and he is grimacing as he runs the other way here at the bottom of your screen, number 13. And off that screen comes Chalmers. He feeds inside to Wade in the corner. Benny is free. No good. He does not have that throw. Go a six. Chalmers gets at the floater. Picked up by Fields. Two to play in the third. Man, what a struggle offensively here tonight for both of these teams. Smith, a drive on Benny. Rejected by Chris Bosch. Oh, he got up high and swats it away. J.R. Smith thought he had a wide open layup after he shoved Shane Battier out of the way. And here comes Chris Bosch out of nowhere with the block shot. Great denial. The Knicks have missed their last seven shots in this quarter. I just don't think they have enough score. Except yeah. we asked, how are they going to score tonight? Here's a tangled up. Anthony, and he got it to go! He'll take it any way he can get it. Well, right now he has Shane Battier off balance here. And sometimes when it rains, 
He pours. <laughs> Has oh, struggled man. all evening. If he played in a playground, I mean, he'll <laughs> never make that shot again. <laughs> Wade picked up his third. LeBron is on the bench with four. The next break is seven-minute field goal drought. Three-point play by Carmelo Anthony. He's got 14. The only Nick in double figures. The TBS May 24th, a comedy about men at work. And, and by work, we mean play. Men at work, a brand-new comedy series premiering Thursday, May 24th at 10, 9 Central, only on TBS. For the latest, like us on Facebook. He's going to take three here because he was fouled putting up a three. Bibby has played, and tonight will be his 103rd playoff game. He's participated in three conference finals. So he's got a very uh, deep resume of playoff activity. Somebody in the New York media came up and said, do you know the Knicks have lost 12 consecutive playoff games, which is tied for the most in the history of the league? He said, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No fouls to give. Ooh, Smith took one low. A heavy hit. Well, I call, are they calling the foul on J.R. Smith? Or Shane Battier? Looks like Smith. Well, to get leveled like this up top. Ooh. You know, that, that is, we've seen another something like that. That's when Jan put one on the unsuspecting LeBron. You are absolutely right, and that was a flagrant, a flagrant one on Tyson Chandler. Jeffries picks up the foul. 35 seconds to play. This series has had a little bit of everything, hasn't it? It was that hard foul by Tyson on LeBron, game one, a game where the Knicks only scored 67 points. Game two, of course, in that game two, Shumpert blew his knee, their best perimeter defender. Anthony did not get called for the foul, but Jeffries reaching in yeah, was the one who was called as he was defending Wade. Yeah, just basically wrapped his, his arms around his waist and threw him out of bounds. But you, you talk about this series having a little bit of everything. Yeah. You've got two rivals going at one another. There's not a lot of love lost between the Knicks and the Heat. Well, Battier got it. Smith will defend Wade. Riding in, Dwayne Wade has put in 18 points to lead the Miami Heat. He's put a 12-point third quarter. A second difference between the game clock and the shot clock winding down to third. Sure Carmelo Anthony is not sitting out here. Five of 19 from the field, only 14 points. There's been about three or four Heat players that have guarded him very tough all evening. Bibby for three. Mike Bibby is at three three-pointers in this series. All in the last couple games. Wade, good if it goes. And that concludes the third. Where do you find enough offense to win this game? Well, we just got to keep pushing and scraping and scratching, man. I mean, we slowed down in that quarter. Their defense picked up, but we're not getting the ball moved from side to side. We're playing on one side of the court, man. You can't do that. As the defensive end, Dwayne Wade, got going in the third quarter. How do you slow him down with LeBron coming back in the game? Now? Well, he's got to take a break eventually. I can't afford to take Melo out. LeBron's coming back. We just got to keep grinding, man. All right, Mike, thanks. And James welcomes himself back to the game by hitting a three, putting Miami on top, 61-56. And we've got a tired Carmelo Anthony out here and a fresh LeBron James, fresh legs. LeBron hits his first fourth quarter point of the series with that basket and now claims a rebound inside. Slides in, puts up the runner, and puts it, and off his miss. Gets another offensive rebound. He's got five off the bench to begin the fourth in about a minute.
It's Fields for a long two. Rebound by Chalmers, and they got James playing the point, basically. Bringing the ball up. He'll put up a three. Oh, my goodness. Uh -oh. oh my That's goodness. it. That is it. The fuse has been lit. Well, he, he's well rested. And what did we say? He was going to be upset because of those four fouls and six turnovers. He's got 23. Anthony. Fields. We've got the long guys taking shots out here. James again. A three. Well, that was a heat check right yeah. there. Eight points by LeBron in the span of about a minute ten. Anthony. He's played 33 minutes. Picked up by Joel Anthony Chalmers, and now here's LeBron. The defense by J.R. Smith. Chalmers got by Bibby. Inside carves his way, but. Offensive foul. Yep. Offensive that is a foul. Offensive LeBron offensive quickly offensive with three. The second call on Chalmers. Well, it is something to be said when you have fresh legs coming in the start of the fourth period. And LeBron James is trying to put a stamp on this game. Second and third multiple efforts here for that. And then the three at the end that just rattles in eight quick points to start this fourth period for LeBron. Novak is coming for Fields. So it's Smith, Baron Davis, Carmelo, Novak, and Chandler. That's the New York Knicks five, nine and a half to play. The quick blitz and the double on Carmelo. Smith against LeBron. Oh, slid right by him and throws down the hammer. <laughs> He thought that was going to be a reverse lay-in, and it was almost like a, du a double pump throwdown. Smith off the bench is put in 10 for New York. I think that surprised everyone in this building. Watch this again. Look at the hesitation here by J.R. Smith. You think this is just a simple reverse? Brings the ball down and double clutches. Miller for three. Mike Miller continues to struggle from the floor tonight, one of five. Anthony, five of 20. Battier defends. They got James on Smith, Chalmers on Davis. Carmelo. I'll tell you what, Carmelo is so strong that when he takes it down there, the great players in the history of the University of Tennessee where he played with his uh, dad as coach and he came to New York and he hit that big shot against Miami in the playoffs. Remember that a couple of years, not a couple of years ago, back in 99 and it was a huge and a surprising New York Knicks upset win in that series. Well, look, think about the, the one-two punch with Latrell Sprewell and Allen Houston, something that Carmelo Anthony hasn't had really throughout this series and more particular tonight, 20 shots only making five of them and you see the struggles throughout games one and two and tonight so much focus on stopping Carmelo and just making him take tough shots which he has tonight. Right before we took a break Shane Battier picked up his second personal foul. The Knicks have one more run in. Anthony defending James. LeBron. James has 25 and he'll go to the stripe and Anthony reaching in will pick up his third personal foul for the New York Knicks. Here's the difference between fresh legs and a guy that's been on the floor pretty much the whole evening and just is frankly almost dead tired in Carmelo Anthony. Three and a half minutes LeBron has put in 10 make it 11 points in this fourth quarter. You know, people always talk about the shortcomings of LeBron James and not being a finisher in the fourth period. Remember his last year in Cleveland, he averaged 7.5 in the fourth quarter to lead everyone in fourth quarter scoring. Here's Smith, James on him. James has scored all the Miami points here in the fourth quarter. A hand right there, a deflection, another turnover by the New York Knicks. 16 of them. 